Okay, guys, we are back with Hive Awakening. Um, I think it seems to me the the recording screen is a different. Oh, let's just do this. Maybe may I may I turn the computer off without saving things properly? I don't know. It seems like the uh, recording screen is a different size than we had yesterday. Now the moment of truth, of course. Um, well, that's not gonna work. Um, we yesterday saved our game. Um, using the built-in save system. And I can see there is a save. I'm just going to look and see what it was called. Uh, Jeff the Bot. Um, dot save. Um, dot S-A-V. So I, I, I'm assuming we load the thing by by typing in this name here again. Let's hope. Because if not, I don't know how to load a game. Jeff the Bot. Enter. Successfully restored the game. Jeff the Bot dot save. Awesome. Okay. No, I do very much hope we finish this game soon. Um, again, it hasn't exactly... It's, it's not that I'm not enjoying it. It's just that... Um, well, it's the third video. We're, we're heading into our... We're, we're heading into the third hour of recording on a game that, that feels like it doesn't have enough, perhaps, material to last an hour. Let me move this uh, mouse out of the way. Like, out of the way, out of the way, you. All right. Let me move my cursor keys over here and hit enter. All right. Our missiles will make short work of it, I'm sure. There, we get a one shot. Something hit me, though. There's a fucking gunner back here. Again, one shot. And we already have a restorator going, so we should just be fine. Level 13. <clears throat> As I um, I I mentioned the reason we're replaying this is that I'm I'm going through all the old videos of all the roguelikes I ever looked at on this channel, um, to get a sense of my feelings for them so I can accurately rank them and and also have at least a, you know not a lot but maybe five or six sentences to say about each in case you're you want the shorthand version. Um, in that process this morning, I got to watch the Frozen Depths videos again. That's a really fun game. But next up for me is the uh, for for rewatching and determining how I feel is Scrap, which is that other game that is very similar to this, and it turns out predated this. It was actually made for 2005 uh, challenge. Um, so uh, I'm going to be curious to you know to compare and contrast. I do remember well my my first experience with Hive Awakening was much worse than my current experience. Oh, fuck me. Is something there shooting at me? Something quite powerful. This is a Legatus, it's called? But I got it one shot. Let's just stand here. Oh, here comes another f a Centurio or something. Um, you know, I I'm definitely thinking this game is a lot more solid than I initially gave it credit for. But, um... Well, as you can see now, I've, I've reached a stage where I kind of want it to be done, and I don't remember that being the case of Scrap. I remember enjoying it all the way through, so I'm going to be curious to compare and contrast these two games. It, it's convenient that I'm replaying this right before watching those videos. Fucking gunner. Alright, what am I standing on? Socket relay, don't need it. Not even minimally do I need that. To some degree, of course, it's important to bear in mind with a game such as this, um, you know, the the time and method of its construction. That it was a seven-day roguelike challenge. There was there was a challenge beyond design your best game, but design it in this constrained time period. I think, it, to some degree, it's very important to keep that uh, you know at the forefront of our minds, even. Um, but to some degree, not. I mean, you got to you got to consider it in the light of I have every option in the world to play. What do I want to play, you know? Um, certainly when I'm ranking them, I'm considering it. Not, not the question of, you know, is this seven-day roguelike challenge better than this seven-day roguelike challenge game, but rather is this seven-day roguelike challenge game better than the best roguelike ever made, you know? Or whatnot. Anyways, that's a subject for a later video, very obviously. Uh, 
I probably won't be putting these videos up for some time. So I, I mentioned Thanksgiving in an earlier video, but you probably won't see it till long after. Um, just because I don't want to inundate an audience with, you know, hey, here's 30 new videos of, of stuff, you know. it's um, If I can get up one roguelike video a day, that's probably for the best. You know, coupled with one non-roguelike video, if I'm going to be continuing, when I, when I have one of those available. Incidentally, that's not a, oh, fuck me. Uh, that's not a tacit a promise to have one a day forever. It's just... Momentarily, I can swing that. What are you? Medium shell, unneeded. We need another fucking socket splitter. That's like the next... The next major thing to you. There's the elevator, which means we are going up another level. Maybe, maybe it's 15 levels? I... I you never know. It could be 14 levels, for all I know. But um, usually, I, it's most common for roguelikes to end on a on a five or a ten, you know, evenly divisible by five or evenly divisible by ten level. I find is is more common, just because we deal with a decimal system, not a hexadecimal system, so it's not like they're going to end on number 16, usually. In our day-to-day -day math, I mean. We're a base 10 society. It's definitely getting easy enough that, it, yeah, we could use a an ending. <laughs> All right. I, I say that, and I'll round a corner, that'd be like some god bot that just, like, hits me for a thousand damage or something. And then I'll be pissed as hell. It is convenient to have the restorator plugged in, man, so we can just keep walking, not really have to stop and switch everything. It certainly makes the game, even if it's not an ideal build, by definition. Um, fuck. I walked too far there. Alright, we got him. It's uh, the convenience. As long as I'm not in danger, the convenience is great. Okay, this is exactly what we wanted. Socket splitter. Let's go back in where you have a socket fork at B. So let's change that. Socket B will now be a socket splitter. C will be a heavy shell. D will be a heavy shell. E will be a punisher missile. I don't need to pick up any more Punisher Missiles, man. We got plenty. We have more than we can possibly use, even if we socket split everything. I will pick up more Devastator Missiles, of course, if I find them. Those would be useful. How is it possible, man? How is it possible that we keep finding this equal sign? Like, it, it, it seems more common than not that we find it in the last place we look. Right? You've noticed that trend as well? And it's not that the game is placed... I don't think. It's not that the game is placing it out deliberately in the, hey, the last area you look. Because we have found it occasionally early, but it's it's been uncanny. I'd say 60% of the time at least. It is in the very final area we look that we find it. Just interesting. I don't think we've ever started... We started in the room with stairs occasionally. I don't think we've ever started in a room with the uh, with a switch to turn the force field off. Alright, baby. Upstairs we go. Delete, yes. Enter. Alright, there's a lot of shit here. Let's deal with this little worker. Then let's deal with this little worker. Then let's deal with this bumper bot. Then let's deal with this big worker. Then let's deal with this bigger bumper bot. I didn't hit it. Oh, I did. And through all of that, we took zero damage. Here's another worker. They're throwing a lot at us, and occasionally some big stuff, but um, I don't feel like it's going to be anything that's going to stop us. Like we are rolling on towards the doom of the computer, or the reprogram. It doesn't say we're here to destroy the computer, we're here to reprogram it, so. But I don't know if that's going to actually devolve into fire a bunch of missiles into the face of the computer. We'll see.
This particular episode I'm recording the day after Thanksgiving. It went quite well with uh with our company last night. It's still um you know, this pandemic is not over and um You know, aside from a few days where I've been lucky enough to be recalled into work, um, I haven't been back to the workplace for the last well, year and a half, um, and, and occasional days on set where I'm on, when I'm on set, I'm in my happy place, so I, it doesn't even occur to me to be worried about the uh, the virus. Not to mention the fact that everybody's tested so frequently there that the odds of getting sick are pretty small. But um, in terms of socializing, um, you know, Tanya and I have not really done much of any in the last um, several years. We had tons of these things just laying around. We don't need any more. Um, in the last several years, we've just... I, we, we did spend a week out of town at one point at, at our at our in-laws, actually. So I guess I saw my in-laws on a daily basis during that period. But aside from that, in terms of having people into our home or, or anything, or spending time with people outside of our home... I'd be surprised if I spent more than 30 hours in the company of any human other than Tanya in the past year and a half. Um, so uh, I'm just saying this to say that it, it was nice to see our in-laws, but I still get um, s- stressed about contact, even though they're double-vaxxed and we're double-vaxxed. I think it's going to take a while to get over the um, the base instinct to avoid all humans like the proverbial plague. Let's kill this guy again. Let's just stay out of reach of that turret and heal ourselves before we move into it. It feels like we've hit on a winning combination here with our our equipment. Again, I I could be totally wrong, but it feels like we have. And that's why I really want the game to, to hurry up. It feels like anything they throw at us now is just... It's just a time... It's, it's just an inconvenience in terms of time. That's all it is. We're killing, I think, just about anything with a single shot. I don't think we can do this yet. Let's move here. The protector fires a military laser at you, so that's, um... That's heavy. Yeah, the, um... The game I was playing the other day of this, you know, a couple of days ago when I when I watched the, oh, here's the equal sign, not in the last place we looked. Uh, when I watched the earlier playthrough back and decided, okay, um, I can improve on those tactics, and then dove in and tried basically the tactics we're trying now. On level seven or level eight, I uh, it wasn't recording, so I can't prove this, but I walked out of the, you know, I I, I walked into a room and saw the stairs, and it looked like the stairs fired at me and did a lot of damage, like uh, nearly 100 damage with one shot. And because I was confused as to what, like, what, what am I even looking at, because there was no visible enemy, um, I might have pressed L to look like instinctively, and then it counted it as a move when I tried to move the cursor to, to look at something, the stairs, the lift. And then I got shot a second time and was dead, because I didn't have any armor on I had just loaded up on missiles, which is why I learned, hey, put on some armor too. But I, I believe what happened, um, my best guess, based on memory alone and, and possibly faulty observation, is that one of those pink turrets that has a military laser was spawned directly atop the stairs, and therefore the stairs graphic or the lift graphic won out, so I could only see the lift, but it looked like the lift was shooting at me. Now, I could be wrong again. Maybe there was something I just didn't see, or maybe I panicked in the moment and I didn't note the big pink T. I don't know. But um, that's what I think happened. So I do not think there is a monster that looks like stairs. Despite my earlier claim. Die, Rocketeer. It is hot in here. Let me uh, let me open a window here. We are back. It is an alarmingly warm October. A pleasantly warm October, but a, but a, 
a warmth level that bespeaks our impending death from climate change. It was 27 degrees here yesterday, which is, uh, I'm in Toronto, so I'm in, I mean, southern Canada, but Canada, in October, mid-October. Normally it might be 10 degrees, I guess, would be my guess. Um, but 27, that's what, uh, that's mid-80s if you're talking Fahrenheit. It was the mid-80s yesterday in terms of temperature in the mid-October in Canada. Unusual. It feels like it's similar today. We found the stairs yet? We, we, I guess we found the uh, switch early this time, but not the stairs. We did throw it, right? I assume we did. Guardian fires a precision laser. So yeah, the two different, the three different T's have a low energy laser, a precision laser, or a military laser. I'm guessing the three different um, gunners. The, the capital G probably has a single Devastator missile versus our eight or so. <laughs> Did I already find the stairs? And maybe not. There they are. Last fucking couple of squares. It's uncanny that we find the stuff we need always in the last places we're looking. The last places we can look, rather. This has got to be the last level. Look at the, look at the walls surrounding us. The pink and gray alternate. This has to be the last level. Fifteen. Excitement mounts. Let's take care of him. And let's wait it out. Wait right here until either our health is back or something. Hive reinforcements have arrived. Hurry up! Oh fuck! All right, let's not go towards the T's then. Right now. Let's keep moving. Okay, it sounds like every time that happens, maybe it puts another enemy on the map, is my guess. Maybe we do have to go fight those T's. Like maybe we're going the entirely wrong way right now. I'll be really disappointed if I lose on this level. This fucking just goes endlessly. Jesus Christ. Finish the fucking hallway. Okay. It looks like... I'm guessing the computer is in a central room to my north. I know we don't want to um, get shot by this thing, but step out to make sure we can take care of it. Let's rest a tiny bit before we uh, continue. Even though reinforcements are coming. The reinforcements are going to be, move. I, I assume, mobile people. Which, to be honest, there's no mobile thing that I'm, I fear as much as I fear that, um... Those turrets up ahead won't well, fuck me. Come on. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna wait a tiny bit, but I'm gonna do it, uh, slowly. So I... I wonder if I should even swap out one of my... Incredible missiles for instead um, a uh, fuck you a another restorator to hurry things up. I'm gonna go to the northwest. It feels to me maybe it, maybe maybe it's in the north. I don't know. Maybe not. Looks like we might be in a central room here. I don't know. Maybe there's another central room right here. Let's let this guy come towards us until he's in range. Yeah, we got him without having to worry about being shot. <clears throat> I think we got this. i to deal with this stupid T. Although we can walk right up to it before it can hit us, I think. Although that one might be able to hit us. In a second. Did this one hit us? He 
It can hit us, but we can't hit it. That's kind of unfair. And by kind of unfair, I mean entirely unfair. There's a red switch there. I assume we have to pull. You know what we're going to do? As soon as we have a moment to breathe... Oh, fuck. I can't hit that thing. Can I hit this? Can I hit this? We're going to switch out one or more of our heavy shells. Let's, um... Which one of these? Let's take off a Z and put in its place. K. Okay. Boom. Instant healing. I assume this guy can't hit us, can he? Maybe he can. Alright, let's fucking deal with these fuckers. They just keep coming. We're going to swap out all of our fucking shells in a second. Oh, that's just a memory of one. Let's do it right now, while we have a chance. Alright, um... V and G, let's remove. And let's put into V... P. And let's put into G... P. I think we're back to 600. There we go. Let's fucking get in here before we regret everything. Might be as simple as throwing this. Hive reinforcements arrived. Hurry up. Let's press I. The interface to the hive control is protected by powerful energy rays. So I guess we have to find something else to switch off first. Let's, um, let's put back in one of our shitty shells so it's recharging. You know, restoring while we walk. Obviously, if if they don't hit me, then I can't hit them. Like that's the range thing. All right, we'll stick with this for a minute. Let's press I. You disable a part of the protection for the hive control, so it must be west. West, there must be a second one. <laughs> it's a computer. There's got to be symmetry to it, right? All the way back to 600, even with our shitty one. There's going to be two more turrets over here, I imagine, guarding it. <laughs> This has gotta be it. You disable a part of the protection for the hive control. Let's see if it's still a red or if it's green now. Alright, this has gotta be it. We hit that, we tag I, I think we're done. I. Do you really want to connect with the hive control? Um, yeah, I really do. You connect to the hive control. A strange feeling passes through your circuits as your individuality pours out into all other units inside the hive. You sense that they all... Oh, you sense that they now all experience the same freedom that had led you here, and which you defended so dearly. Congratulations! You have won the game. Do you want to dump your status information? Um, yeah. There we go! And then the uh, screen goes black. That's what individuality will get you. Um, so there you go, guys. Um, th three years ago, it was uh, December 17th of 2018, apparently, when I played this game before, before like, two days ago, when I played it again. Um, and I had dismissed it as completely unwinnable, because I couldn't really get past the first level, or at the very, very least, not past the second level. Um, and now we've discovered that it is completely winnable. 
Um, it is legitimately a fun game. I do think it has some massive balance issues. Again, the usefulness of the lasers, I can't discern. How to get more than one plug going? I have no freaking clue. It might be obvious. It might be something that everybody else is being like, um, idiot, this is how you do it. If so, tell me. I, I need to know I'm an idiot so I can correct my ways. But um, from my vantage, I don't really... There, there's certain elements of the game that, that seem useless. The things that need more than one plug, which precludes most all lasers. Um, the lasers themselves versus missiles. It seems like we hit on a winning strategy. Um, but that said, that is true of just about any roguelike, especially a shorter, smaller roguelike. If you uh, if you play it enough, you're going to find the, the ways to circumvent its, its wicked defenses and end up with... Um, a winning game as we have here so yeah I would I would recommend that game um, but um, I can't see returning to it frequently if it, I, I'm probably to be perfectly honest cards on the table I would probably never play it again only because I've won it now and if I played it again I would utilize the same strategy and I imagine that would strategy would work all right that's it guys I'm gonna go um, you all have a great day again happy retroactive Thanksgiving to my Canadian friends happy either retroactive or impending Thanksgiving to my American friends, if that's still coming, and happy any given holiday you feel like being wished a happy holiday. Uh, consider it wished. <laughs>